This show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Stop putting your online data at risk. Get protected at expressvpn.com slash funhouse. John and Elisa all time that is up. Paddle tail. Oh, no, I, mm. I didn't know if we had started or not. Oh, we can always start whenever we want to. That's the beauty of it. Because uh. essentially the way these shows work is we just ha- sit on a Hangouts call all day. <laughs> okay, is let's that, right, spin it. It's, it's, <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> we got to just, we got to spin <laughs> the wheel and get out of here. I got a tennis appointment. I got to go. What are we even doing? What are we even doing? I don't, I'm tired of reading comments about us. Uh. Here's the beauty of this, Lise. We can cha- we're changing the gimmick every single time, and I use the word gimmick in a negative connotation. Every single time, it's a different scenario, so we're not just pulling random comments. These are comments that follow a very specific theme to make things more interesting. Now, I know everyone got tired. They said, I don't know, I can't find any funny comments. And I said, just go, go anywhere. Go get a comment from any place, any video, on the whole internet. The only, the only thing is it has to be something that's been typed on the internet in response mm-hmm. to something. Those are the only requirements for this episode. That's right, we're sharing our favorite comments from anywhere. Is this mm-hmm. legal? I don't know if this is legal. I mean, I guess if you're pulling it from other YouTube videos, we're gonna have to make sure the video that is playing is is the audio is tweaked. All the way up, mm. it's mirror image flip, and we only show it at one frame every like five seconds. That's the only way we can make this legal. Are you guys prepared to accept this challenge? I'll go to jail for you, James. Let's get these copyright strikes. Let's get these copyright strikes. I wasn't listening. All right, it's too bad. We already know you know the rules because as much as we like to make this seem like we just make it up on the fly, we planned this and emails were sent and everyone knew what they were doing. Spin the wheel. Who's first? Who's gonna sink this channel first? Oh, oh. John, I knew hey, it. Hey, right on brand. All right. Y'all are going to love this. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> How you feeling, man? I, I'm pretty lucky. <laughs> Say what? I, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm pretty fine. <laughs> what? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm good. You're, you're, How are you? I'm good. You In think? response to that masterpiece of an interview, mm-hmm. a happy Jack said he's talking in wingdings, which... <laughs> I think it's an accurate uh, description of the language he was using there. Can you finish these lyrics real quick? Back home again. I can't wait to get back on the road again. Dude, like throw the baggers. Well, I'm just curious. Can anyone finish these song lyrics? Hey, sure, you <laughs> Swedish Chef, right? Yeah, it sounded like Swedish Chef. Exactly. I couldn't get anything <laughs> from either of those two guys. How high do I have to get to, to talk like that? To not be able to speak English? <laughs> That's like Quaaludes, right? I said, I'm going to ride. What the fuck are you saying? That's the thing about it, too, is that is that to be that completely out of it and be like, I'm gonna go walk around downtown. <laughs> it's not like they just came to this guy's house, busted down his door, with, and then put a camera in his face on a Saturday night when he didn't have anything better to do. He was out and about. Man, yeah. I would love a 60 minutes in-depth interview with this dude, sitting him down and being like, what happened there? So some people get high and go in the woods. This guy goes strolling through downtown. Yeah. Well, I wanna see what else we can dig up out here on the internet. Lindsay. Okay, so I had a comment and it's lost on my desktop. How disorganized is your desktop? It's a mess right now. I don't know what happened to it. Um, <laughs> so instead, I'm gonna share this TikTok with you and read you a comment off of this. Challenge yourself. Good. Where did it go, babe? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, man, that didn't go as planned. That is poop on my... Don't touch. Yeah, the comment is uh, from a user named C. Nader. Asterix stares at it. Asterix sniffs it a little. Asterix... Oh, no, what happened? Part of me wishes that I had that kind of freedom. That's like waking up from the Matrix, right? Mm. When you When you shit yourself... You have no idea. I just like the mom keeping it professional of like, well, that didn't go according to plan in reality. She's going, fuck, the 30 people watching this are very upset. And she doesn't break the stance. No. True. No. That's true. Fitness comes first. Oh, yeah, at least the show must go on. Fitness before feces. You could put that on a shirt. Sell it. It's a good song for our new band from last episode. (laughs) Spin the wheel of TikToks. 
Adam. Adam. I was looking at the uh, the trending videos on YouTube, a place I haven't been in for ages. And I saw that Nicki Minaj has a new video out uh, where she, it's a new song called Trolls with her mm. and 6ix9ine. <laughs> it's the official music video. And yep. uh, there is a comment left by Triple X. Only people who didn't come from TikTok are worthy of liking this. And I had 3,000 thumbs up. I just thought it was funny that people are gatekeeping uh, <laughs> like TikTok and YouTube culture, I guess. I just thought those were just people. I didn't, well, no, I didn't no, know there's like a community you, there. I don't. You have to choose a tribe, Adam. You saw what Gen Z was saying about millennials on TikTok, right? Gen no. Z was, was giving it to millennials real hard, saying that we trash. Garbage, trash garbage. I don't know these people. Are they so are I'm, TikTok? I'm just saying, Do they live I in the same TikTok is, house? I don't, I mean, no, these are commenters on TikToks, Gen Z commenters, and they say, they're talking about how they think of us. So I think what's happening now is that millennials are staking their claim on YouTube, and then ultimately it'll become the battle of I don't care who wins, and I hope the planet burns. But Doesn't like it hurt her talking. breasts to be bouncing them like that? No, women like it. Micah, I could bounce oh. mine all day. Do it. Question mark? Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I had to think. What would John Smith do if I really challenged him? So I, yeah, I kind of abandoned him and way I'm through saying do I'm wearing a black shirt. You wouldn't even be able to see him. So hold on. Be right back. Bye, Adam. He's got to take a well, dump. What if he went and squatted against the wall? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, guys, you need to stop watching that video and you need to open. Oh, sorry. The video for. Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers on YouTube <laughs> Movies, because that's where <laughs> my comment is from. My comment is from the Flying Welshman from a year ago or so. And they said, I am watching this again right before the next Game of Thrones episode comes out so I can compare the Battle of Helm's Deep to the Battle of Winterfell. Ooh, oh this comment gosh. did not age well. <laughs> oh no. They didn't come back to give anyone an update or anything like that. Uh, uh, oh well, the, the responses to it were like, "Ooh, man, you're not gonna wanna, you're not gonna wanna oh. compare that." Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, Helm's Deep. Kind of, kind of similar though, right? <laughs> Both yeah. nighttime action sequences, except Helm's Deep is one of the most cinematic nighttime action scenes. It's so well choreographed. You know where everyone is. You know the exact geography of everything. You can see it all. Mm -hmm. And then there's Game of Thrones, which is a feat unto itself, but it's very dark. John, I'm curious, if you could only have Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings, John Holland, what would mm -hmm. you choose? Oh, Lord of the Rings. I love Lord of the Rings. Thank you. Why don't we do more watch parties, guys? We should. Just watch the you At least uh, promise me at Christmas a watch through of Lord of the Rings. Never fulfilled it. It's a real uh, Saruman move there, Elise. Well, yeah. If, okay. in, Elv in Elvish, if, that means dick. Those are some white hands you got there, Elise. Okay, well, if people want to watch Lord of the Rings with me, I will I will watch. I'm always down to watch Lord of the Rings. I'm busy. Here we go. Oh. James's turn. So, uh, my comment. It was on Twitter, oh. and I'll just I'll just read it to you, and then afterwards I'll give you the context because I feel like that works better. Nobody did. I've been campaigning for a proper continuation with the original co-creators in charge for a little over 14 years now. The company, Mainframe Animation, knows what we want. They just think they know better. TGC was a massive failure, so no, they don't. Hashtag reboot revival. What is um, this for? What? The user reboot revival, aka at glitchbob452. <laughs> and um, this was left on a. Someone tweeted at me, and uh, and this person said, unfortunately, that reboot reboot did come out. It's a Netflix exclusive. I haven't sacrificed my dig dignity and watched. Perhaps you can make that sacrifice and tell me about it. And then I replied, I don't want this. And then this person, who doesn't follow either of us, found this discussion that me and another person were having online, so that way they could tell us about how much they've worked to make the reboot reboot happen in the right way with the creators themselves. Uh -huh. 14 years, this person, Reboot Revival Glitch Bob 452 <laughs> has been working on this. <laughs> John, Read where'd you get that, that comment? comment? All right. My comment comes from the How to Barbecue Right uh, YouTube channel because I love watching barbecue videos. Um, mm -hmm. This one is on a video that is about making delicious barbecue shrimp and grits. And the username is Ooh. Joshua Smith. He says, I want to cook this, but my wife doesn't eat seafood. Should I get a divorce? Ooh, and your thoughts? 
I mean, that's a tough one because the recipe looks really, really amazing. And I could understand him being like, we have nothing in common. I don't know. I mean, Lindsay, your your future, apparently, according to the last episode, is that you're going to get divorced. So I know. What I are feel your like this. Yeah. I, I was just going to ask you if it's the same guy and if it's from the future because um, I don't like seafood. Could they live in separate houses? I get where this commenter's coming from, though, because sometimes, like, if you see a certain kind of food and you, like, think that is the most delicious thing in the world, like, just the look of it, it seems, like, objectively delicious. And then someone right next to you says, that doesn't appeal to me at all. It does make you kind of question both of your realities. Is this about you microwaving salmon? Didn't do that. I peated it in a toaster and I did (laughs) a little oil on top and then wrapped it in foil so that way it wouldn't stink like salmon. The whole place smells like salmon. Elise is getting upset. You know, my favorite thing is when you cook fish, (laughs) like in an oven or basically anything, someone ultimately goes, smells like fish in here. I'm like, yeah. (laughs) Because I cooked fish. Yeah, That's why it smells like fish. It smells like shit in here. That's <laughs> what if I cook means. some chicken, it's going to smell like chicken too. It's yeah, going to smell like whatever good. I cook. Everyone here likes fish, but you, Lindsay. Oh, shit. I just want to say that if if I ever met someone who didn't like fish, I'd defriend them and block them, and I'd never talk to them ever again. What if I told you Nicki Minaj smells like fish? I got to go watch her titties bounce more. Before or after it's microwaved? 